let's go. Detroit Ballin', it's part of the culture. It's a deep base, the trade you in the poster. You know the facts, so while we test the roaster. Killing your haze, deadly handles our exposure, cool composure. Team stack to win the chip, act like I ain't told you. First round. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Piston. Mike, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell button for your boy. 70% of you guys are not subscribed. I don't know why. No costing anything, not even a nickel or dime. Let's get into this video. Before you do that, click on the link in the description for some cool piss and care. If you want to donate to my channel, you ain't got to cash app, dollar sign, Mike and Big Nail 20. Special request videos is $2. Um, hit me up on Instagram, Mike 318. Shout out to Alex for keeping me updated. Um, let's get into this video. So, um, per Jonathan Cavoni, um, they are expecting Jeremy Grant to be traded from the Detroit Pistons, and we kind of knew this was coming. You guys, um, um, it's been speculated, trade rumors um, out of this world. Um, everybody, the Knicks, the Cavs, the Blazers, the 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 Pacers, the Kings, like, I could go on and on. All them teams want him. Um, the Hawks, it, it's a lot. The Jazz, there's a lot of teams that want Jeremy Grant, and I think there's um, some teams that can really get, do good with the services. I just don't think if he stays here, um, he will affect Sadiq Bey. Sadiq Bey, um, I think he's already really good. I think him and Kay Cunningham is a dynamic duo we need to go with. We need to get a really good guard and a big man, and then we can be talking about the play-in, the play -in, the playoff tournament. I mean, the play-in and the playoffs. But one thing that Jeremy Grant, I think, is going to do is hinder the growth. I don't see he's worth $28 million a season. Um, I don't think he's worth that much. He's an inefficient shot person. He only averaged four rebounds. I like the guy. I like his, his scoring um, and everything. But he's also been injury prone the last two years. So you got to figure that. And he's going into his, almost his 30. So I don't expect him to not get injured less. He's, you know, however old he is. But, um, you know, um, there's players to be had for him. You could get Karis LeVert in the 14th pick. Rumors have been that the Pistons were interested in Karis LeVert getting, trying to acquire Karis LeVert at the free agency. You might, Chicago is willing to shop the 18th pick in Kobe White. Maybe they'd be willing to throw in Paxton Williams. I don't know. I highly doubt it, but you never know. I think if that would happen, that would be the sweetener that does it for the Pistons. Um, you got teams like the Hawks. I think they, if they throw, like, Boyan by Donovich in the 16th pick and the uh, um, Lowry protected first from the Knicks next year, then you can um, do it. So it's just all about what teams you he want to go. Um, I don't know if we're getting that seven pick from the Blazers. Seems like they want to go after DeAndre Aiden, John Collins. They want to go after biggest, bigger fish, which they can. So it's just all about what we want to do as a franchise and an organization. And we can get a lot of assets. There's been rumors Miles Turner is on the training block. The Detroit Pistons tried to trade Jeremy Grant straight up for him. Maybe it worked this time. Who knows? I'm just throwing out ideas. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, but I, I got a feeling that he's definitely going to get traded. Somebody's going to pony up, whether it's the Bulls, whether it's somebody like the, um, the, even like somebody like the Kings who need to make moves, maybe somebody like the Pelicans. I don't know. It's just a whole bunch of different teams that could come out of nowhere. Maybe New York want to swap him and Julius Randle, and maybe we get back Cam Reddish. I wouldn't even need a pick after that. So you never know. You guys let me know what you think. Um, it's your boy, Pistol Mike.
Let, like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell button. 70% of you guys will not subscribe. It don't cost anything, not even a nickel or dime. I'm out. Peace. They all jump again. Pissy Mike, we take your flight. Click like and subscribe. We can keep you right. Yes, Pissy Mike.